Hi there, it's me. So first off, I want to say that I miss you guys so, so, so much. And I miss your hugs and your high fives and your fist bumps every morning. And I wish we had some more time in the classroom together. But you know what? It's better to stay safe and healthy. And so I hope that you're having a good time at home and that you can read as much as you can and that you're going outside and exploring. It's well, other than today, it's all rainy, but when it's nice and sunny out, you can go outside and explore in the springtime and you're noticing all of the beautiful trees starting to bloom. Um, so I miss you a lot and um, I'm still going to try the best that I can to help you do some more learning. And one of the things that you know I love to do for you is to read books. So I have a couple of books here at home that Claire really likes, so I thought I would share some of those books with you, and that way you can at least see me. And I'm going to read a book for you today, and it's Sylvia and the Bird. So um, I hope you enjoy, and yeah. It's got really pretty pictures. Obviously, it's just a blue. Sylvia and the Bird. In a faraway place on a high mountain top lived a shimmery, shiny dragon named Sylvia. Sylvia loved her leafy home, but sometimes she felt sad. She had searched the whole world, but never found any other dragons. Sylvia was lonely. She gave a big blustery sigh, humph, and there under the leaves was a small surprised bird. Probably made that prediction, huh? Bird was building a nest and Sylvia thought she might be able to help. Bird and Sylvia became friends. Being together was so much fun. Bird and Sylvia spent all their days together, just like friends do. But when Bird went to chit-chatter with the other birds, Sylvia felt alone. Bird belonged with the other birds, but Sylvia was different. She had no dragons to belong with. Very sad dragon here. I wonder at this point if you can make a prediction about what you think will happen next. Maybe Sylvia will be by herself forever? I don't think so. Sylvia crept away. She gazed up at the night sky. Maybe there were other dragons living on the moon. She could go and see, but the thought of leaving Bird made Sylvia feel, feel sadder than ever. But Bird saw that Sylvia was unhappy. She had an idea. They would go to the moon together. Off they set, racing through the clear blue skies. Kind of looks like they're underwater, huh? But as Bird and Sylvia whirled higher and higher, Bird grew cold and tired. Suddenly she began to tumble down, down, down through the clouds. Oh no. Mm, I'm feeling a lot of things right now about Bird. With a cry, Sylvia swooped to catch her tiny friend and gently carried her home. And there they stayed. For Sylvia realized she didn't need other bird, other dragons to be happy. The best friend in the world was a loving, loyal bird. The end. Hmm. Wonder what the main idea of this story is. Maybe friends are important, right? So anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed it and I'm going to try to upload another one. Um, I don't have that many books, but I'm going to do the best that I can. I have Corduroy and I have Green Eggs and Ham and I have a couple other books that you might like. So um, I miss you. Keep smiling. Keep being happy. And um, I love you guys and I miss you and hopefully we'll talk soon. Okay. Bye.